All right, what's going on? Let's take a look at finding the volume of a of a graph that's revolved about an axis or a line using the shell method. All right, so for the shell method, it's, it's a little different than the washer disk method. I have a video on that. You can check that out. But for the, uh, the shell method, what we're doing is we've got, we're, we're finding the volume of a shell. So just, I don't know, uh, real quick, let's look at, just say if we have something like this. Uh, if we have something like that. And we revolve it about the, about this axis here. Well, we can create a shell And it's, we got something like this. I know I'm not drawing it real good, but something like this. And we're finding the volume of this shell. So, so that's what we're concerned about. Well, in, instead of drawing the entire shell when we're doing it, I'm, I'm only going to draw half of it in the problems. Uh, and I'll explain that a little more. I know here I've got the whole thing drawn. And I've got the entire thing drawn here also. But let, let's just look and see what, what's going on and what we're doing. All right, so the volume, okay, to find the volume, it's the volume is 2 pi times the integral a to b of p of x times h of x dx, where uh, p of x is the radius, h of x is the height, and, d of x, and, and dx is the thickness. All right. So if we look at this, the the volume, I mean, the the axis that you're rotating it about, that's where we're measuring the radius from. The radius is measured from the axis you're rotating it about out to the to the to the thickness of the shell. That's your radius. And then the height, that's the height of the shell. And then, of course, here's your thickness right here. Okay. And so, you know, looking at this picture here that has the entire thing drawn, well, I'm, I don't really care about the entire thing because, look, all I need is I need this radius here. I need this height. And I need the thickness here. So if you look at this, I don't, I don't need that side of it. All I need is this rectangle here. You see that? I just need that rectangle because I just need the radius and the height and the thickness. All right. Now, what I want you to understand here is when I'm talking about the volume of this shell, I'm not talking about the volume inside of it. That's not what we're talking about. Okay, so I want you to understand what's going on here. So if we take this, this shell here, it's kind of like, like a cylinder. And let's say we, we cut it and open it up and stretch it out. It's going to look like this. Right? So, it's something like this. And you know, it'll come back like this. So we've got something like this if we if we stretch it out. It's basically what? It's a rectangular solid. Okay? See, we've got a length, a width, and this thickness here. If we were laying it down, that would be the height of it. Okay? Well, what's what's the volume of this thing? I'm talking about the volume in here, okay? this with the thickness to it well it's it's what the volume would be this length times this length times this height here right well look at this this part that's stretched out here okay well first let's just label this this right here this would be our height right this would be the h of x okay that's the height and then this right here 
is what? That's the distance all the way around here like this. That would be the circumference of that circle. All right. So, so let's look at this. And then, of course, this thickness here, that would be dx. That's your thickness. But, but let's look at this. What's the circumference of a circle? Okay, what's the circumference of a circle? It's the circumference is what? Pi times the diameter, or we could say the circumference is pi times twice the radius, right? All right, so so let's look at this. So if so we've got this length here, which is h of x, right? And then the circumference, okay, the circumference is what? Well, based on this figure, it's twice the radius. So 2 times p of x times pi. All right. So that would be 2 pi times p of x. And there's your thickness. So the volume would be the h of x times the thickness times this length here, which is p of x times 2 pi. And you see all we did was bring the 2 pi outside the integral, and then we're going to integrate it from a to b. And, and that's where that comes from. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started on an example. All right, so example one, it says, find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating about the y-axis, the region bounded by y equals 2x squared minus x cubed, and y equals zero. All right, so first, let's go ahead and make a sketch of the graph. All right, so the graph is going to look Something like this. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, how do I know the graph looks like that? Okay. Well, you may not. Okay. You may not be able to sketch the graph easily. So what happens when you can't just look at it and sketch the graph real easy? Well, if you remember from when you were learning derivatives and learning how to graph, when you had to find where the where the graph was increasing, decreasing, relative max, min, concavity, and inflection points. You may have to do that. Okay. All right. So now I want to revolve about the y-axis, this bounded by this graph, and y equals zero. So I'm just looking for this part of it that I'm going to revolve about this axis. Now, one thing I want to point out here is if you notice, if you notice the rectangle here that we've drawn, you see th this right here is your rectangle, okay, this part right here, and we're revolving it about this axis. Well, do you see the difference between this and the washer or disc method? Notice, re remember, when you're doing washer or disc method, your rectangle is drawn perpendicular to the axis you're revolving it about. But with the shell method, your rectangle is going to be drawn parallel to the axis you're rotating it about. All right. So let's, let's draw our rectangle in. All right. And we're revolving it about this axis. So, so what do we need? We need the radius, we need the height, and we need the thickness. So we can see the thickness here is dx delta x, okay? dx is equal to delta x. Now I need the radius. So remember, the radius is measured from the axis you're rotating it about out to, out to the rectangle. All right, so this is your p of x. And then h of x, that is the height of the rectangle. Okay. All right. So in this problem, we get P of X is equal to, well, well, and, and then let me also point this out. The function that we come up with to integrate, that's going to be in terms of X because we're going to be integrate because it's going to be the integral DX. All right. 
So we're going to be integrating with respect to x. So the radius, well, what's that distance from here to here? Well, it's some distance x. We don't know exactly how far out we're going. We're no, we just know we're going out x units. So that's x. And then I need the height. Well, what's the height of this rectangle? Well, that's the distance from here to here. Well, what's that distance? Well, I go up what? Y units? Well, what's Y? I need it in terms of X. So that's what? 2X squared minus X cubed. All right. And so now let's put all this together. So I get my volume is 2 pi times the integral. All right. So now I've got what? P of X, which is X times h of x, which is 2x squared minus x cubed, times the thickness dx. And now I need my limits on my integral. Well, I'm going to be integrating from here to here. Well, what is that? Well, that's when this graph is what? Zero, right? It's when it's zero. So let's take the 2x squared minus x cubed, and set it equal to zero. So that's going to be uh, x squared times 2 minus x equals zero. So x equals zero or x equal 2. So I'm integrating from zero to 2. And so now we just integrate this. That's 2 pi times the integral zero to 2 of 2x two cubed minus x to the fourth dx. And so we integrate it. That's 2 pi times, and that is going to be what? 1 half x to the fourth minus 1 fifth x to the fifth from 0 to 2. And so this is going to be 2 pi times. That's going to be 1 half times 2 to the fourth minus 1 fifth times 2 to the fifth minus, okay, so I plug the 2 in, now I plug the 0 in, but when I plug the 0 in, I get what? 0. And then when you punch all that into your calculator, you end up with 16 pi over 5. All right. All right, so let's take a look at the next problem. All right, find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating about the y-axis, the region between y equals x and y equal x squared. All right. So here's the line y equals x, and here's the line or the curve x squared. Okay, so I'm looking for this region revolved about the y-axis. All right. So let's draw a rectangle in. So I'm revolving about the y-axis. So my rectangle is going to be here. All right. So I need what? I need the radius, p of x. And then I also need the height of the rectangle. And then I know the thickness is dx. All right. So let's look at this. So we've got P of X is equal to, well, how far out am I going? Well, I'm going out what? X units, All right? And then I need the height. So that's this height from here to here. Well, look at this. If I take, let me do this in a different color. If I take this height right here, you see that from here to the x-axis and then you see this height here if I take this entire height here and I subtract off this height that'll leave me with just the height of that rectangle All right so I've got this entire height from the x-axis to the top of the rectangle well we know see we're on this function here that's x. 
And then I have to subtract off this height, this height right here. Well, the height from here to here, that's, that, that's the function y equals x squared. So that's x squared. And so now we set up our integral. That's going to be 2 pi. Okay, and that is going to be, let's see, p of x times h of x times dx. Now I've got to put my limits on there. So that's this point and this point. That's where the two graphs interse <coughs> intersect. So that's x equals x squared. So that gives me x squared minus x equals 0. x times x minus 1 equals 0. So I get x equals 0 or x equal 1. So that's going from 0 to 1. All right, so now let's integrate it. So first thing I need to do is distribute the x. So that's going to be uh, 2 pi 0 to 1 x squared minus x cubed dx. And so this is going to be 2 pi times, that's going to be 1 third x cubed minus 1 fourth x to the fourth, and that's from 0 to 1. All right. So that's going to give me 2 pi times, that's going to be 1 third times 1 cubed minus 1 fourth times 1 to the 4th, minus, and then we plug the 0 in. Well, that's just going to be 0. And then when we put all that into our calculator, or we calculate that, we get pi over 6. Okay? All right. Let's look at the next one. All right, so we've got... Use cylindrical shells to find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating about the y about the x-axis the region under the curve y equals square root of x from 0 to 1. All right. So let's sketch that graph. There's the graph of square root of x. And we're going from 0 to 1. And I'm revolving about the x-axis. All right. So the important thing, draw that rectangle in. It helps you set the problem up. So we're going about, we're revolving about the x-axis. So that means our rectangle, we're going to draw it in like this. It's drawn in parallel to the axis you're rotating it about. All right. So we need... The radius, so remember, the radius is measured from the axis you're rotating it about to the rectangle. And then we also need the height of the rectangle. All right. And let's put in our thickness. So our thickness is dy this time. Okay. So now for the radius, that's going to be p of what? P of Y, and the height is H of Y. All right. All right. Now, let's get the radius. All right. So the radius, P of Y, well, how far up am I going? Well, I'm going up, what, Y units, right? So that's Y. And then... I need h of y. Okay, well, what's h of y? Well, that's this distance from here to here. Well, what is that distance? Well, look at this. Let me get a, another color here. Look, this distance here, that's 1, right? You see that? That's 1. And then what do I have to do? I have to subtract off this distance. Okay. Well, what's the distance from here to here? This distance from here to here, what is that? 
Well, that goes out what? X units, but we need that in what? In terms of Y. Well, over here, we've got Y equals the square root of X. So we know X is what? Y squared. So this would actually be Y squared. So that, that tells me that the height of this rectangle is this one minus this Y squared. Okay. See, it's so important to draw that rectangle in there. And once you get that thickness, then you know what, what variable your radius and your height needs to be in terms of. Okay. So now we've got what? We've got the volume is equal to two pi. All right. Now we need our limits. So our limits are from zero to one. That, and they actually gave us that in the problem. Okay. Zero to one. All right. So there's my limits, zero to one. And so it's going to be the radius times the height times the thickness. And so this is going to be 2 pi from 0 to 1 of y minus y cubed dy. And so if we integrate this, that's going to be 2 pi times 1 half y squared minus 1 fourth y to the fourth from 0 to 1. And then we plug all this in. And that's going to be one half times one squared minus one fourth times one to the fourth minus, and then we plug the zero in for Y and that's just going to give us zero. And so for this one, we end up with pi over two. And what I want you to understand here, the limits here, this zero and this one, that's not, that's this zero, but it's not this one. It's this one that we're integrating to. Okay, on the y-axis. All right, let's look at the next one. All right, so find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by y equals x minus x squared and y equals zero about the line x equal two. All right, so... Let's go ahead and draw the graph. So if we, if we draw this, that graph is going to look something like that. Okay. Now let me, let me do this. Let's draw it a little bit like that. Okay. And I want to revolve it about the line x equal 2. So the line x equal 2 is this line right here. This is x equal 2. And let's go ahead and draw a rectangle in. It's drawn parallel to the line we're rotating it about. All right, so what do we need? We need the radius and we need the height of the rectangle so remember the radius is measured from the rectangle to the line you're revolving it about now let's go ahead and put our thickness in dx so that tells us our functions are going to be in terms of x here's the height that's h of x all right so now let's get Let's get our radius. So I need the distance from here to here. Well, I don't know what that is, but I do know that from here back to here, I know that's two, right? And then look, how far did I go over from here to here, from the y-axis to the rectangle? I went over what? x units. So if I do 2 the entire distance minus x, 
I take this distance here off x, that'll leave me with the radius here. So that would be 2 minus x. And then I need the height. Okay. Then I need the height. Well, what's the height? Well, that's from here to here. That's I'm going up y units. Well, what's y? Y is what? x minus x squared. All right. So now I've got my volume. I've got my volume is equal to 2 pi times the integral of p of x, which is 2 minus x, times h of x, which is x minus x minus x squared dx and now I need the limits on my integral well how do I find that well that's this point and this point so I set the function equal to 0 and you, you can see that x equals 0 or x equal 1 okay so I'm going to go from 0 to 1 and so now I need to multiply this out, so I'll full it out. And that's base, That's going to give me, if I multiply that out, I'm not going to show all my work. You, you should know how to do that. I'll get this. All right. And so now let's integrate this. So that's going to be 2 pi times that's going to be one fourth x to the fourth minus x cubed plus x squared from zero to one and so that's going to be two pi times that's going to be one fourth times one to the fourth minus one cubed plus one squared minus and then when i plug the zero in i just get zero and so this will give me pi over 2. All right. See, the, the, the integrals, integrating these things really is not difficult. The, the, part, the hardest part is just setting up the integral. All right. So we only got two more. So let's, let's knock them out. All right. Find the volume of the solid formed by revolving the region bounded by the graphs of y equals x squared plus 1 y equals 0, x equals 0, and x equals 1 about the y-axis. All right, so let's go ahead and draw the graph. So x squared plus 1, that's this graph here, and the line x equal 1. Okay, this is the line x equal 1. This is the graph x squared plus 1, and we're revolving this about the y-axis. And then, of course, we've got x equals 0 and y equals 0. Okay. So if you, <clears throat> if you watched my other video on disk and washer method, we did this same problem. And we had to break it up into two integrals. Well, I want to show you here that using the shell method, we only have to do one integral on this. Okay, so let's draw our rectangle in. That's this rectangle here. Okay, and then remember our radius, that's from the axis we're rotating it about out to the rectangle. And then we've got the height. Okay, well, this is what thickness is dx. So that tells us our radius and our height is going to be in terms of x. All right, so let's go ahead and get the radius, so p of x. All right, well, how far am I going out from the axis I'm rotating it about to the rectangle? Well, that's what? That's x units. And then I need the height. Well, what's the height from here to here? Well, from here to here, it's up to that curve, so that's x squared plus 1. All right. So our volume is 2 pi, and then what are we integrating? From what to what? Well, we're going from what? From here to here. 
That's from 0 to 1, and that's x times x squared plus 1 dx. So, so you can see that when, when we're doing this, we're doing the same problem, okay? But on the disk and washer method in the other video, we had to break it up into two integrals. With the shell method, you see how much easier it is, okay? Now, sometimes the shell method's going to be easier. Sometimes the disk or washer method will be easier. It's good to know both of them, okay? All right, so now we've got 2 pi from 0 to 1 of x cubed plus x dx. And so this is going to be 2 pi times 1 fourth x to the fourth plus 1 half x squared, and that's from 0 to 1. And then if we plug this in, we get 2 pi times 1 fourth times 1 to the fourth plus 1 half times 1 squared minus, and then of course when we plug the zero in, we get zero. And so our final answer is 3 pi over 2. And that's your answer on that one. All right, so the last one, let's take a look at this one. It says, find the volume of the solid formed by revolving the region bounded by the graphs of y equals x cubed plus x plus 1, y equals 1, and x equal 1 about the line x equal 2. All right, so we're going to need to draw the graph. All right, so let's see, sketching this out. And, and like I said, some of these, you know, like this one, how are you going to know how to graph that? Well, you probably can't just sketch the graph off the top of your head. So you would have to do increasing, decreasing, relative max min, concavity, inflection points, all that good stuff. Okay. Obviously, if you're in my class, uh, I'm not going to give you one that requires that. The functions I'll give you, you'll be able to sketch real easy. Okay. All right. So if we if we graph this, that's going to look something like this. Okay. So it's bounded by the graph y equals one. So that's that's this line here. X equal one, which is here. Okay. So this is the region I want to revolve about the line x equal 2. We're revolving it about this line. So now let's draw a rectangle. So that's going to be drawn what? That's going to be drawn parallel to the axis I'm revolving it about. So I need the radius. Well, let's go ahead and put our thickness in, dx. So we know we're going to be in terms of x. Okay. So I need the radius. So that's measured from the rectangle to the axis we're, re we're revolving it about. So that's P of X. And then I need the height of the rectangle, which is that distance, H of X. So let's go ahead and get P of X. All right, so, so P of X is kind of like, it's, it's like the one we did earlier. Well, the distance from the Y axis to the rectangle, that's what? That's x units, right? Well, I know this entire distance from here to here is 2. So if I do 2 minus this x here, that'll leave me with p of x, our radius. So that's 2 minus x. And then I need the height. Okay, so the height is from here to here. Well, let's figure out what that is. Well, I know the distance from here all the way up to here is this function here, x cubed plus x plus 1, right? This is x cubed plus x plus 1. But then 
I need to do what? I need to take off that. Well, what is that height from here to here? Well, that's one. See, that's the line y equals one. So that tells me that my height is this entire distance, which is x cubed plus x plus one minus this distance here, which is one. So I get h of x is equal to x cubed plus x. All right, so now let's go ahead and get our volume. So that's 2 pi integral, and that's going to be the radius, which is 2 minus x, times the height, which is x cubed plus x, dx. Now I need the limits on my integral. Well, I'm going from what, 0 all the way to here, right? Well, what is that? Well, that's the line, what, x equal 1. And so I'm going from 0 to 1. And so when I multiply this out, that's 2 pi times the integral 0 to 1. And so multiplying that out, I'm not going to show all the work. You, you can fold that and combine like terms. I have no doubt about that. So this is what? Negative x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x dx. And then we integrate. So that's going to be 2 pi times, that's going to be negative one-fifth x to the fifth plus one-half x to the fourth minus one-third x cubed plus x squared, and that's from zero to one. So now we plug everything in, so that's two pi, that's going to be negative one-fifth times one to the fifth plus one-half times one to the fourth minus one-third times one cubed plus one squared minus, and then when we plug the zero in, that's going to go to zero. And so our final answer would be 20, 29 pi over 15. And that's your answer, okay? So it, th these things are really not that hard to set up. And, you know, just draw your picture out. And, and the important thing is drawing that rectangle in there. You get that rectangle in there, then it's, it's a lot easier to, to label everything else. Okay. So I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.